All right, let's see if any fish are biting today. This little lake, there's, there's two sides, and I made a video about it. But over here, it's really shallow. Like maybe three feet over here in the deeper area, but it's no deeper. The whole lake, the whole, and it's about an acre or two, maybe two acres. But I've been catching fish over here and putting them back into the big lake. Not so much back into the big lake. They started out over here and they grew up in here and they're stuck in here and they need to be in the big lake behind me. So I've been catching fish. I've caught probably five got a few of them on camera you can watch those videos check them out uh, but I've got I've caught fish in here that are stuck in here in this hot water it's shallow time out phone call all right so I haven't even started yet I got a phone call I had to call back but the, the fish are stuck in here and they can't get out and it probably stinks living over here they've got used to it they've all they've ever known but i want to put them in the big lake so they're free they get to live a normal fish life so anyways the water um comes there's i guess a creek over there coming in and there's a creek over here coming in this is kind of like a dam but it's not um, water would never get full enough to come into here but there's a creek over there coming into here and it flows into the lake um, so anyways, let's see if anything will bite a spinnerbait. I haven't caught a bunch of fish in here and they're timid. They don't, they don't just bite anything. You've got to work with them hard. I've caught fish on live bait, live worms, and I've caught fish on fake worms. I don't know that I've caught them on anything else. There's some big bass in here, really big bass. I mean, how big is big? I mean, they're not huge. They're not 10 pounders, but they're, there's some three to six pound bass in here and they're fun to catch. There's a lot of brim beds and crappy beds in here. A lot of, a lot of small fish. I, this is one of the lakes I never catch fish in, so I come here hopeful but not excited. It's kind of like playing the lottery. You know you're not going to win, but you try. I know I'm probably not going to catch a fish here today, but I try. Try to get better, learn different techniques for the lake. Sometimes I'll see them swimming around over in here, or I'll spook them, and I'll swap over to a worm and try to, you know, fool them. There's a lot of grass on the bottom. There's a lot of grass in the big lake. It's hard to fish with a worm out here. They like to hug that bank over there. A lot of times you cast, you'll see a splash or a ripple in the water where they've, you know, you spooked them and they swam off. I don't expect to even get a look at this spinnerbait in here, but you never know. Try something new every time I come. I've got this new DJI mic that I'm talking into today. I've only made a couple videos with it. I'm excited about it. It's got a nice wind guard on it. 
and it's pretty windy today. I mean, it's not windy, windy, but there's a good breeze uh, that I can really feel. And I know in my old audio, it would have screwed it up. So I'm gonna see how this sounds when I edit this and I hope it's a lot better. <laughs> I made a video recently about issues I've got with GoPros and some solutions. I talk about my setup and I talk about things I've solved and I'll show you how I solved them and uh, some things I can't solve or don't know how to solve or I've tried everything I can think of and one of them's overheating, GoPro's overheating and, and to be honest with you I did went back in time and I, I'm not doing a lot of the things I normally do to try to not get it to, to, to try to uh, keep it from overheating. I'm actually going back in time and setting things back up like I was when it started overheating. And, you know, like um, not default settings, but closer to default. Closer to default, rigging it up. I've got a battery in this thing. I don't normally use a battery. I've got a battery in it in both my cameras and I've got external power running them and I've got um, the doors on them, which I haven't done in forever. So I'm trying some new things. I've got uh, I've watched a video that showed me how to set up my camera for a lot better video quality. So I've made a lot of changes to my settings in the camera. And I'm going to see how good this video looks. It may not, I may not can tell a difference, but you might be able to. Or someone that, you know, we'll see. We'll just have to see. I bumped a lot of stuff that time, like, like, like not bites, but... Like there's a lot of just junk in the water over there. Let's tr let's see what a worm does. I, I like I said I'm not hopeful. Well, I'm hopeful, but I'm not expectant. Let's throw a worm on for a little while. I carry usually I carry a um, usually I carry a spinner or a spinning rod and reel, spinning reel, and a bait caster with me, at least one of each. And I use the bait caster for heavy things, and I use the uh, spinning reel for light things, which is usually a worm. So let's find a worm or a lizard or a trick worm. I've got a, uh, like a, kind of like a spot sticker. I don't know if this is what that is, but it's a weighted hook. Uh, I, I've tried so many colors in this lake. Um, let's try something. I don't know that I've tried this much. This is June bug. It's kind of blue, shiny. This is a, well, this is a trick worm, but it'll be all right. It'll actually be perfect for this. I'm gonna spin this thing on there. Some people spin them on and some people just shove them in there, but I'm gonna take the time to spin it in. And then you realign it with the, I don't, I don't think it matters, but I'm gonna realign it with the, there's two ways of doing this. You can go all the way through and that's what I'll do. I'm gonna find where that crosses here, which is right here, and I'm gonna go through the entire worm right there and come out the other side. See that? So now that's my hook, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hide that so it's weedless. I'm gonna kind of pull up on the worm in this direction and let the hook go back into the bait. See that? The hook is now hidden. It'll still work, but it's hidden. This is twisted a little bit, but see that? So my, my hook is now hidden and it's weedless, but it still works. Still does its job catching fish. If I can get them to bite it, that's the first problem. I'm just gonna bump this slowly for a little while, see if I get any action. See if I can keep it out of the grass. If I keep coming back with a lot of grass, I have to try a new place or not use this bait. 
Because even though it's weedless, you're still going to bring back grass if you're in it a lot of times. Uh, heavy, you know, heavy grass on the bottom, really wet, almost like turnip greens or spinach when, after they've been cooked. It came back clean, so this is good. Well, I mean, there's a piece of pine straw on it, but that's common. Most of the fish I've caught in here have been, you know, I've caught some bass, some big bass over in here. And I've caught some, some crappie and brim out in the middle. I don't know if I've caught any brim here. Crappy though. All right, let's call it quits on this lake. I'm gonna walk over to the other side, fish in the big lake for a little while. Caught a good number of fish off this grand, uh, dam area right here. I don't even know what you call it. Water comes in this way, so it's not a dam. It's a dam for the other little lake. It's not a dam for this lake. There's no really dam for this lake. It just flows in and flows out. I'm trying to just drop it off the edge of the dam into the dirt. Been trying these new sunglasses. I used to wear Costas and I have a new job. My insurance doesn't cover Costa and I needed new ones. So I went with Ray-Ban and I tried to pick out the same like green mirror tint color that I had before. Everything's as close as I can get it to what I had with Costa. That was a good cast right there. Everything's exactly the same and it, I mean, there, it works great. It, I can't compare because I'm not wearing both pairs, but I need to get them both out at the same time and look and compare, but these are great. I mean, I can see through the water. Um, the water is kind of dirty, so it's not the best today right now, but it, I mean, they, they seem to work. I put it up on that ledge. I'm gonna see if I can drop it right off. Oop. I've caught so many fish right here doing that. But I don't know where they're at today. Well, the, the water's probably, water temperature's probably really high and it's they're probably out in the middle of the lake and I'm wasting my time over here. But you never know in these small lakes. Cast out in the middle. See if I don't come back with too much grass on my thing, on my worm. Oh, I missed one. I had a fish right there. He bought, he bit it right on the tail, right as I was just giving up on that, that uh, cast. And I probably jerked it right out of his mouth. Oh my gosh, Chris. Threw it into the tree. But I got it out. I don't know what I was thinking there. But my hook came out of my little safety weedless spot. So I'm gonna put it back in in another spot. Right there. Let's try this again. That's where I meant to cast it last time. I threw it into the tree. Look at that, I just put the hook in my hand, in my thumb. What was I thinking? I'm gonna redo this worm setup. Make it a little straighter of a worm. It's kind of been like a C, like a, 
Uh, did I just get a bite and I wasn't even paying attention? Yep, he's trying to hit it. Oh, I got him that time. Little bitty fish. But it's better than nothing. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. Look at there. Little, maybe one, one and a half pounder. In you go. That's awesome. So there's one. I'm gonna put my worm hook back the way it was. It's still good enough to use again. See if we can get him again. All right, so I'm back at the truck. Um, that was fun, good little hour lunch break. Uh, was able to catch one fish. Uh, I probably didn't get many bites, but I felt like I did. I always like to think I did, um, but caught one fish. Um, there's some info in this video I talked about. Um, go check out the videos I mentioned. I'll leave them in the description, maybe up in the corner uh, when I mentioned them, but uh, go check them out and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.